often imitates life. But what happens when life imitates art, imitates life, imitates a draft? Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, Runtime. Runtime, run, run, run. <laughs> so, or you got a film reel going here. Looks like some trees, some all this stuff, right? I didn't see all that. I didn't see any of it. I'm even seeing a little house in here. I didn't see any of that when I chose the book. The book is written by Katherine Ryan Howard. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense. Spooky, spooky, spooky. This book is all about how you don't have to be the most talented to be the one who becomes the most popular. You just need a little bit of luck. Luck pretty much runs the world, right? All you have to do is do a little bit of work, get lucky, boom, there you go. <laughs> Kyla, you gotta record these videos, the right person's gonna see them, boom, you're huge. Luck is so important and it's really important in the film industry. So one of the most important things, one of the most important plot twists in this book is how life, especially being an actor or an artist, is all about luck, sometimes even more than talent. Okay, so the story follows two friends, Julia and Adele, and their lives as they get to stardom. And so you're reading the book and you're just like, okay, oh, okay, there's a script, there's a this, wait, there's a, ho, ho, hold on where did all that come from right and so it's a mind twister it's not gaslighting but it is kind of like you were wondering if everything you were seeing was really happening because you're just like huh what and so that plot twist about sometimes you just have to be lucky more than being talented is so important to the entire story because revenge is best served cold People do not forget stuff. People will hold on to things for years. Good luck. Okay, good luck because you never know if you could offend somebody and they're just waiting, plotting, thinking, finding way. It's too much, it's too much, it's too much. So yeah, the, the fact that sometimes it just takes luck more than talent is really indicative, but also it means that, you know, you're coming after me for revenge. I, I ain't do nothing, I, I got lucky. You can't hold me accountable for being lucky, but people do. <laughs> this book will tell you that people will 100% hold you accountable for being lucky. They don't care, okay? Uh, last point here, would I reread this book? I can't, I, I would not reread the book. No, not even an excuse or a reason why, but I wouldn't reread it, but I did enjoy reading it. So yeah, I uh, I don't want to know what Adele's doing, Martin, Gus, fictional, real, not, I don't want to know what nobody's doing at Friends. <laughs> so yeah, so thank you for hanging out with me with today's review of the book, Runtime. Please let me know how you are feeling about suspenseful and thriller books. Again, I've just been on this kick and it's been really fun. Um, so every couple weeks I pick up a suspenseful book and I'm really surprised that I'm starting to enjoy this theme so much because I cannot watch a scary movie, I would say to save my life, but that seems a little on the nose. <laughs> I can't watch scary movies. I do not enjoy being scared, but I will pick up a scary book and it's, it's really thrilling to read. It's thrilling to see myself get really into it. It's thrilling to know that I can't read the book at night because I'm a little scaredy cat. It's, it's pretty cool. So let me know how you feel about suspense books. Can you read them at night? And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.